Pakistan has always treated Kashmir as a playground for its jihadist terror activities. Pakistan-backed terror groups through regular infiltration, radicalization of local youth killing innocent people and several terror attacks kept the situation tense in the Union territory for several years. However, since the abrogation of Article 370, Indian security forces have managed to foil all its devious agendas and maintain tranquility in the valley. But Pakistan's unfulfilled dream of annexing Kashmir from India has resuscitated amid Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan and now it is once again making attempts to hamper peace and accord in the region. Jammu and Kashmir has remained at the target of Pakistan's state-sponsored terrorism since decades, be it deadly terror attacks, cross-border infiltration, or indulging into narco-terrorism. Islamabad has not deferred itself from indulging into anti-Indian activities. Recently, a major terror attack was foiled in Kashmir as Indian security personnel thwarted an infiltration bid and killed three terrorists in the Rampur sector near Uri town. According to sources, the terrorists had recently crossed over from Pakistan-occupied Kashmir into the Indian side. The identity of those terrorists shows that one among them is Pakistani. Details of other terrorists are yet to follow. Five AK-47s, eight pistols and 70 hand grenades were recovered from the possession of the neutralized terrorists in the operation. Meanwhile, Indian security forces neutralized another terrorist in Shopian district of Jammu and Kashmir. In the early hours of the morning, uh, uh, in Hatlanga forest, there was a movement observed for an infiltration bit. In a very short, brief operation, this uh, attempt was eliminated by alert troops along the line of control. But, uh, on 18th, a similar attempt was made in the hours of darkness and over a period of about three days during this operation it was revealed or rather confirmed that that attempt for infiltration was foiled. So in just last about one week's time we had we have had one attempt which has been foiled and one that has been eliminated. India's timely interventions on the border have left Pakistan deeply worried as there has been a significant drop in the infiltration of terrorists from across the border due to the strict vigil of Indian security forces along the line of control. Thus, Pakistan is now preparing a devious recruitment plan in Jammu and Kashmir. The security forces in the country are on high alert amid Pakistan's plan to push Kashmir youngsters into terrorism. Sources say that Pakistan-backed terror commanders in Kashmir are using Taliban's videos as part of its plan to radicalize youth and push them into their terror agenda. According to a report by Indian security agencies, 110 terrorists were eliminated in encounters till August this year. However, 82 youngsters from Kashmir have been brainwashed so far to join various terror organizations. Pakistan-based handlers look for cheaper assets among local youth that can be used to carry out killings of soft targets without any fear of being able to reveal the larger designs of their handlers. It is a fact that Pakistan based terrorists Lakshay Toiba, Hizbul Mujahideen, Jashay Mohammed, ISIS, Taliban, with the assistance of the Pakistani army and the ISI are making increasing attempts at infiltration into Jammu and Kashmir so that they can cause maximum chaos and mayhem. They want to disturb peace and tranquility in the valley. Ceasefire notwithstanding, the efforts are ongoing and will continue to increase by the order of magnitude in the weeks and months ahead. Failing to create unrest through traditional methods, well-known terror groups are now adopting new terror techniques. Pakistan-based handlers of proscribed terror outfit lashkar e taiba has been using the pseudo-acronym The Resistance Force to take responsibility for the terror strikes in Jammu and Kashmir aimed at maintaining plausible deniability and evading law enforcement agencies. The Resistance Front, which is backed by Pakistani handlers, 
is an offshoot of the LET and it has taken the responsibility for various terrorist activities in Jammu and Kashmir in the recent past. Run by local terrorists, TRF is a face-saving wing of the outlaw terror organizations being named in terrorist acts. Unlike the Fidain attacks and other armed strikes on the security forces by traditional terror groups like Lashkar, Jash and Hezbul Mujahideen, TRF has concentrated mainly on soft targets like local party leaders and businessmen, apparently to generate a wave of fear among civilians after the abrogation of Article 370 in 2019. For decades, Pakistan has been dreaming of capturing Kashmir, yet it has never been able to do so. It is again dreaming the same, this time with the help of the Taliban. Consequently, Jammu and Kashmir has witnessed a slight rise in violence. Terror launchpads close to the border are being active again, with Pakistan-backed terror groups and their associates continuously attempting to foment trouble in the Union territory by making constant infiltration attempts despite ceasefire in place.